I'm Beatrix Robinson um, and I'm an artist who documents landscapes and beach combs. My work is exploring and documenting landscapes that are constantly in a state of change and particularly the coasts and the beaches and I'm excited by the movements of the sea and objects and beachcombing, what the sea washes up on the tideline. Definitely what I've learned in the time that I've been here is it's now shifted from wanting to celebrate and sort of share my enthusiasm for the sea to now how do I document these landscapes and how do I capture the unpredictability. I think that's really interesting me now is how do I go about collecting all this information that I've got around me and these things I've found and what's happening to the sea and how unpredictable it is and do that without too much control. I think it's how do I control the lack of control we have. I think it's quite interesting. When I'm looking through the landscape, I'm often looking for surface and really bright colour and that massive contrast between sand and something glaringly out that shouldn't be there that's also quite beautiful. So lots of my objects I started with are just bright colours of things that are broken plastic. Yeah, I found that bits of surfboard and bodyboard. Um, Oh, yeah, bits of plastic with teeth marks that you have no idea if it's a shark or a dog or... This is like the sort of thing that really excites me, like something that's obviously been used and worked and could have been there for decades, could have been there for weeks, I don't know. <laughs> so I started off with lots of uh, photographs and making myself a tiny viewfinder to refine everything that I was looking at to sort of avoid overwhelmment. <laughs> Um, so I had a tiny viewfinder and I just went up to the waterfalls with my viewfinder and took snapshots of the movement of the water and sort of the light and the movement and the shapes and the surfaces. I think that's a big thing as well, exploring how surface is changing through our landscape. And then those led to me exploring of Carborundum for the first time, which was a whole new process, which I'd heard about and sort of was drawn to because of the painterly tactile surface it offers. It gave me a chance to really explore with print with that process. I did some experiments with trying to draw in the tide, trying to take ink drawings to the tide and draw the tide and using uh, paper in the shore and letting the water wash over and again it didn't really, it looked too controlled. I wanted to find a way to document that was me documenting but didn't look like I'd documented it. It could have had just happened. I wanted it to be something that was not the artificial, I wanted it to be a part of the object I'm finding. Um, so then that led me to doing a new process of doing wing drawings. It sort of just came to me, I didn't research or anything, I just suddenly thought I want to, I realised how much the wind impacts what's washed up on the tide as well. So, um, and then in doing a few days of wind drawings on Fairmore Beach or, and at Barmouth Beach, the whole process of doing that documentation became an object as well. At one point the um, paper was blowing off so I had to run after the paper to catch it like it was an object washed up on the beach. I thought well actually this wind drawing is a documentation of what the landscape was doing so I thought let's just make it this piece of paper, this piece of paper can be the document. So um, I was referencing the inshore water forecast um, and I was referencing the both of wind scale and had my lecture set and sort of made like a, I guess like a, a reference point <laughs> of what the tide and the wind was doing that day on that beach with my sonian objects. Um, and then that was sort of left me thinking I want to push this and this is where I want to go. And then I had the, I, I still really wanted to try and document the tide um, and the movement of the water and again try and do that in a a non-controlled way. So I made some contraptions out of found objects with tape and rope that I collected on the beach and string and I tried to make a floating model I guess of a pencil that will blow in the wind and blow the tide with paper dog clipped on so the movement of the wind and the tide can sit on the surface of the water and hopefully capture the surface and the movement. 
but it's yeah opened up a whole load of possibilities now to how I can capture marks on the beach and in the landscape. So this is the drawing from this prototype. <laughs> so object and mark making again. It's really it's been really interesting. It's really excited me that in wanting to document everything that's so transliminal and so like constantly shifting and the body of water that's so powerful and being drawn to objects that are washed up by this. I've ended up making objects to do the documenting, which has already just sort of gone full circle, which has been really interesting. I hadn't done a residency before, so this is my first artist residency, um, and it's the first time I've had a studio space 24-7, for or, or had a workshop space since really finishing uni. It's the first time I've entirely focused a dedicated enough time to making work and just making work. So I've had a long, long time to think about what my interests are and refining my practice and thinking about what I want to push and why I want to push things. And I basically had like six months of research in my mind. So I really wanted to go into the residency pushing these ideas of documenting landscapes that are transitional and landscapes that are constantly changing so I had lots of ideas bubbling away of what to do with it um, and I surprised myself with what I made. <laughs>